none of the threads are, yeah, none of them want to go in. So, pain in the arse. So. All right, I uh, actually got the first gear reduction wheel on. I don't know if it's, I don't know, maybe because it's warmer out today or what, but I did, um, I'll show you what I'm going to do on this side. This side, the issue with this one was the bottom bolt. Uh, for some reason, this one didn't want to line up well. Right here, this one. Uh, the other three, I got them in, but this one, I could tell I was like grinding the inner wheel. So the, um, not this face, but the, the rim, the edge, which I'll show you on this side. I basically just took a file to it to allow some, a little bit of clearance in between the the inside hub and the uh, axle. So what I'll do is uh, this one, as you can see, and I explained in the, um, you know, earlier that it was really tight going on here. So I'll do the same thing to this side. I'm just going to take a file to this all around this surface and hopefully it'll free up, you know, maybe 20 thou of space or a little bit of space. So it'll slip on a little easier. So this side, I never even got it on. Um, but so I, you know, so I might get it on, but then the bolts still might be an issue. So let me tackle this. Up. I'm wondering if some of the interference had to do with these new bolts that I put on as well, a little sharper than the one that ones that were in there. I wonder if uh, that's just the corner of it. Um, sharp corner is interfering. Don't know, but hopefully this works for this side because the other one went on like a dream, like, it sh like I assumed it should. So um, I don't really have to worry about uh, you know a real tight inner clear uh, fit here as long as it's close enough. The bolts will hold it in place. Plus, um, there's nothing to worry about from a seal standpoint since the seal is on the inside. get some need to get some uh, half inch 13 bolts all right we'll find out pretty quickly so last time last time I tried to do this it would even I could even get it to the back of the plate it just kind of nut you know wedged in on the edge here so let's see if we can see if we've improved that. So let's see if, uh, see if we can get all these, these bolts in. That's one. Oh, that's a funky one. I gotta switch that one out because that's, I believe that's a half inch for the air muffler. So let's try some of these other ones. Try the opposite side. Having luck there. Try this 
something's going on. It's going, but I'm gonna go get some, you know, just wanna get some nicer bolts. Oh, why is this? This one's chock full of shit. All right, time out, something going on. One of them has, one of the bolts holes on the axle is just totally chock full of crap. I thought I, I thought I cleaned it. So, let me... Yeah, it's got all dirt in it. Well, I thought I cleaned it out, so... Let me, uh... Let me go get some brushes and clean that out and I'll be back. Alright, so what I did was, um took my wire brush here and uh, just went in through all the ho all these holes here, cleaned them out. I got a couple of newer um, bolts and then uh, the couple older ones that I had, I ran them through the wire wheel on the, the bench grinder. So let's, let's try this again, take two. going in at all. I wonder if it's the bolt. Let's try one of these newer ones. That's weird. Alright, none of these are... I don't know what's going on. None of them want to line up now. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go get my, um, maybe this is it, this might be it. I'm gonna go get uh, a round file, and then this little scallop that keeps the whole thing from road, like, you know, kind of indexes it. Um, I'm gonna file this out. Maybe this, this might be given a little uh, interference. So let me go get my round file. And uh, give that a, you know, sort of clean it up. again. Yeah, not really. Didn't, it's not nothing matching up. It's probably just, you know, thou different that just seems to not want to line up the threads uh, yeah none of the threads are yeah none of them want to go in so 
pain in the arse. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'll take this off and I'll file that, um, uh, file everything a little bit more and see if we, I can get some uh, space out of it. Uh, maybe, maybe file out these holes a little bit as well just to give me a little more play in it. So, I'll, uh, no need for you guys to watch me file this. It's pretty boring, so I'll come back when I'm done. All right, uh, I got it. So, basically just kind of went to town with the file for, you know, maybe five minutes or so. Uh, on all the holes, all the holes I, you know, you know, kind of filed them off, you know, you know, got the file in there, wore those out, hit the scallop again, and then hit the uh, outside curve. And then um, it all seemed to be a little, little looser. And I was able to like, you know, push it, push it into, you know, uh, into the location where it, everything seems to be screwing in easier. So a couple of them were a, a little, little tough to start, but they're all going in um, by finger now. So that means they're, I'm not basically, I'm not cross threading, so. Which is good, great news. So it's uh, major progress now. So it's great. So I'll just what I'll do is I'll just tighten these up, and uh, then the next thing I do got to do is uh, actually got to tighten up the you know while it's still up on the lift here, and it's easier to, to work on. I'll start putting other stuff on like the get, make sure that this hitch is all tight. Make sure the uh, other stuff is. So but we're getting closer closer before I can you know get it off the uh, the lift here and what's nice is um, well it'd be nice to get it done and get get this project over with but uh, one of the downsides is now that this is going to be um, you know with these gear reduction wheels number one it's very specialized so that that's the downside so now you know doing this for some of the other gardening things it's kind of too wide to do and then the other down thing is now it's going to take up more room in the shed, which is kind of a bummer. But let's, uh, it's okay. It's going to be, again, specialized. And the plan is to um, get it so I can use the cult of, use it over a 30 inch bed. And the tires will be, the inner inside of each tire will be um, over um, 30 inches. So I'm going to tighten this up and then uh, we'll work on something else.